the cats out of the bag, folks. The internet, the beast. The cats out of the bag. The cats out of the bag. The initial reason why the powers that be brought us the internet was to control us, right? And they're still using it as a control mechanism. You know, like, if, you know, every, nobody has any privacy, first of all, which I don't even think that's totally bad because, you know, what is privacy anyway? You know, we're, we're such an isolated culture, you know. Anyway, that's, 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 a, that's an argument for a, different, uh, for a different time. Nevertheless, of course, the powers that be, they want, they, they, you know, they saw this thing because, you know, everything just is like everything is a tool. Oh, here is a hammer. You could either uh, strike someone on their head with it or you can cut some wood and make a nice little cabin for yourself. It's a hammer. A hammer is a hammer. The internet is the internet. So when the internet, the idea of the internet was conceived of, who had the, the first access to it? Obviously, the powers that be who have their own selfish agendas. Okay, so they thought, well, let's use this to control people, to manipulate people, and to uh, enhance our selfish agenda, our own well-being, whatever they think their well-being is. Uh, so they used it like that. But it's backfiring because the idea of the internet actually, believe it or not, is implanted, has been implanted in the mass consciousness not by benevolent beings, but actually by benevolent beings. Most of the technological ideas that we have, the technological innovations are actually implanted by benevolent beings, not by benevolent beings. So the internet is intended, the idea of the internet, the invention, the innovation, the discovery of the internet, which has always been there. It's just now, now we are at the point of our evolution where we can actually make use of it, is actually implanted in the mass consciousness, in the collective consciousness, by benevolent entities, by benevolent beings, also known as the confederation of light, of love and light. And that's the intended purpose so of course the benevolent beings the powers that be they get a hold of it and they say what a great idea to manipulate people now you think the benevolent beings who implanted this idea you think they didn't know that that's that's how the powers that be are going to think they knew and they knew that it's going to be a tool that is going to be used to further crack down on people control people monitor people manipulate people but they also knew that it is going to backfire. And that's exactly what's happening. It, it is backfiring. It, it, I mean, look at the way information travels now. I mean, look, you, you can't hide anything anymore. Governments are coming to realize that more and more now. You got whistleblowers all, all over. Uh, and, uh, you know, like uh, a whistleblower comes out. And they actually, the only reason why there are more whistleblowers nowadays is because, because these whistleblowers feel like they, they, they can be listened to because of the internet. You know how, how much more difficult it is for a whistleblower to come out without the internet? Like, my God, some of the whistleblowers that came out earlier without the, the, the help, without having even somebody to listen to, I mean, the, the amount of bravery it takes for someone to do that. I mean, you get assassinated. Basically, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln... These were brave people who were basically whistleblowers and boom, right? A lot harder now to assassinate someone like that. You know, they come out on the internet and, and they start to get, they gather a, a, a voice, a following. And now it's like, you, you know, it's like if you assassinate them, you, you make their point even more clear. It's like they, 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 they will end up developing a, a cult following if you actually assassinate them, you know? So it's like, it's harder now. So it's it's a lot easier for people to come out and speak their truth and see and and, and and you know say this is what I saw WikiLeaks blah 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 right all kinds of things. Now the again the initial reason for the internet you know the the powers that be got a hold of it to use it to again further establish a police state to further crack down on people manipulate people control people monitor people, but it's backfiring. It's 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 backfiring now. 
And so, of course, of course, of course, what am I saying? The, look at the mass of humanity. They're still basically uh, following mainstream like TMZ bullshit and all that and celebrity blah, 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 right? Of course, that's there. And the powers that be are using the internet to crack down on, on people. But it's becoming more difficult as years go on. As days go on, it's becoming more and more. It's a spider over there. Hey, spider. Spider. Small spider. Hey. Hey. All right. Let him be. So, maybe that spider is, is uh, spying on me, right? So, anyway... They got us. They, I mean, they, the government knows if they want to, they, they know exa- any government. The United States government can basically see exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah, they, they, they got me. Basically, they got, they got all of us. They can track me down right now, right now, in, any second. But it's like, you know, you get to a point where you're like, well, who, I'm, you, you, can't, you can't track, you can't constantly track everyone. You can't constantly like be, you know, you're basically you're constantly paranoid. But you get to a point where, okay, uh, you know, obviously the government wants the big fish, wants the people that really, uh, you know, talk shit or, or, or whatever, you know, they, the people like, for example, Edward, what's his name? Snowden, right? I think he was recently on the Joe Rogan podcast and it's like one of the most watched podcasts ever, right? Like, yeah, the government wants people like that. But even then now, look, because of the internet, I mean, there's millions of people that watch this podcast. I didn't watch it, but millions of people watched it. And, and here you have this brave soul. And now he's actually got a big audience. Now, you know, it's much harder for the government to just, you know, to, to just be like, okay, Snowden, we're going to assassinate you or bye-bye or you're disappeared. Because look, look at how many people are listening to him now. Look at how much audience he has because of the internet. So it's becoming more clear to me, at least, that indeed the internet is is an innovation planted in the collective consciousness by benevolent beings who uh, clearly uh, intended and it's working for the internet to be a tool for increasing consciousness on the planet, for uh, the ascension. It is a tool for ascension. It is a tool for Gaia, for the process of ascension from third density to the fourth and the fifth it is a tool. In fact, it is the tool right now. It is the tool. And I, for one, embrace it. And I, for one, I'm not going to be paranoid about, uh, well, oh, you know, uh, radiations coming from your cell phone right now. I mean, Saeed, you know, you're always with your cell phone. Yeah, but I'm always in nature too. That's all right. That's small potatoes. That's as far as, as that's concerned, that uh, the radiations coming off the phone and uh, the Wi-Fi, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's small potatoes. You know, you ought, to, you ought to think about the food you're putting in. That's way more toxic to you than the radiations. Now, of course, the radiations are toxic. Uh, good luck if you're living constantly indoors to actually combat and deal with the effects of it. But if you're here, you know, you're shirtless and you're barefoot and you're just kind of spending most of your day in nature. You're, I mean, that's small potatoes. That's nothing. As this is coming, it's because co- my feet are always with, with the earth. That's just constantly being cleared. Like, it's just not, not a problem at all. Not a problem right? If the system is light, that's, not, that's small potatoes, okay? That's a small price to pay for uh, what is happening for all the great uh, profilation of, of information, the traveling, the speed at which information is traveling, and the intensity. Mind you, I mean, uh, take, a, take a guy like David Icke, for example. You know, David Icke, in the earlier stages, he was mocked and made fun of, and I mean, he was on mainstream, I mean, there was no internet, so he would go on like BBC and say the stuff that he that he's saying and people would mock him and laugh at him. I mean, it's, this is mainstream uh, media. Who's controlling that? But now, I mean, look at him. He, wherever he goes, he sells out. He's got a, over a half a million subscribers on YouTube. Soon probably will reach a million and millions, you know. So it's like, I mean, look, look at it. Look at what's happening. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of bullshit, but I mean, no, there's a lot of awakening and ascension work going on, and it's thanks to the internet. The internet is the tool. So the way inventions work usually, the way we pick up on these uh, inventions is the way the, 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 I know the confederation of light, that's how they work. 
The way the confederation works is the way they help and serve is uh, through thought form. So they'll focus their attention and they'll focus on a particular thought and they'll put it out there to the collective consciousness and they'll target certain individuals who they know because they work for the confederation, although they may have forgotten it because, you know, you take on the... Uh, you take on like I work for the confederation, right? So that's why I'm, I'm telling you guys. That's what's up. So but uh, They they will the way they serve is they'll send certain people they will take on human uh, like Nikola Tesla for example, okay, and then they'll Concentrate a particular invention or thought form internet or solar panels or something right and they'll put it out and then they'll contact via again telepathy thought forms They'll contact the people who they work for them who can pick up these messages and implement these inventions and innovations. That's how it works. So that's how the internet came to be. The internet is actually, uh, it's actually a benevolent force for uh, good, for change uh, towards the good, towards uh, the light, towards uh, the lighter densities. Believe it or not, that's that's actually the intended work of the internet. And as far as I'm concerned, it is it is going exactly to plan. It is going exactly to plan. And again, the internet is a tool. It's just like a hammer, right? And of course, the powers that be will continue to use it to monitor to this, to that, da 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 da, right? But I mean, it's becoming more. It's I mean, every. It's becoming more difficult, man. You know how, how many whistleblowers are you gonna track? And then, and then you get people like me who just uh, speak, talk about this stuff, spread awareness, and they're popping up everywhere. I mean, I get so many of you guys saying, I'm going to start my YouTube channel. So they're popping up everywhere. People speaking the truth, speaking their truth, bringing more awareness, popping up everywhere. You can't, I mean, at, at some point, I mean, wh why do you think the elites are trying to go to Mars and trying to just leave the, the Earth? They realize our time is over and we can't, we, I mean, we can't keep track of all this. You know, it's overwhelming at this point. It's kind of like this. If you've watched Lord of the Rings in the third one, you know, when the ants march on uh, Isengard and uh, they take down uh, the orcs and they take down the industry and they take it all down and all the water comes through because it was there was a dam built that uh, stopped the flow of water. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Now, some orcs, they just escaped. You know, so that's the elites. They're trying to escape it because they see, oh, we can't, we can't handle this no more, right? So they can't handle it. And now they, they've tried to use the internet, but now it's, it's, I mean, yeah, there's censorship on YouTube and stuff and everywhere. But I mean, even YouTube, like now they're like, even now, some, some, some of, some of my psychedelic videos are actually monetized, you know? So even the, the, there are periods of censorship. And then they realize there's such a backlash because people can't can't they can't they cannot tolerate censorship anymore. So even these platforms with the censorship, they tend to even take a step back from from the censorship. You know, you have shows like South Park; they basically do whatever the hell they want because uh, again, people are sick and tired of censorship. So you know what? Yes, the mainstream platforms like YouTube they censor stuff. You can't just do anything or say anything. Nevertheless, when they do censor, they, they receive such a backlash that they have to rethink about their censorship. Okay, same thing with, you know, Facebook and all these platforms, which, you know, again, they're still mostly in the hands of the, the, the powers that be. But nevertheless, it's loosening. The grip is loosening. You can't, you, I mean, what are you going to do at some point? You're like, you can't, you can't track everybody. You can't, what are you going to do? You know, it's like, you know, you can hide the sun for really long. It can be cloudy for days, for months. But at some point, it's got to come out. Everybody sees the sun. It's the same thing. At some point, you can, you know, truth comes out, light comes out. And it's like, well, it's there. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. Oh, let's do weather manipulation, this and that. And it doesn't work. It can't work. You know, it just it doesn't work. Because it's all, everything is, is uh, programmed towards evolution. Everything is programmed towards the light. Everything is programmed towards the sun. You hide the sun, pretty much everybody's going to be pissed off. Because everybody's wired towards the sun. And everybody's going to be like, what the fuck? No. No, you can't, you know. And it's like, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. And the internet is the tool. It, it is a tool. 
You'll see. You'll, we'll just keep watching. 10 years, 20 years from now, you're going to look back and be like, wow, that was the most powerful. Like as the, as the planet continues to ascend and people begin to wake up, continue to wake up, and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We will look back 20 years from now, 30 years, and be like, wow, man, if it wasn't for the internet, none of this would be possible. You know, like, uh, you know, the whole thing with Terrence McKenna saying, find the others. Now, he said he was very uh, supportive. He was a proponent of the internet, much like I, I am a proponent of the internet. Uh, and he and he said, he said that actually the way that we're going to find the others is through the internet. Now, how many retreats are popping up all over the place now uh, of people coming together who would never have come across one another because they're literally like the one in a thousand in society, the neos, basically, you know? How many neos are coming together now going on retreats and, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and, and just getting together and forming communities because of the internet that would never have met. Never, never in a million years. Because if you're like that one in a thousand, good luck coming together with those other Neos out there. You know, it's like, you know, it's possible, you know, the universe will bring people together, but it's like much more difficult. You know, now with the internet, it's like super easy. And it's happening all, all over, all the time and in increasing numbers. You know, it's like the others now, like that, that was the whole philosophy with Terrence McKenna and, uh, and uh, Timothy Leary when they said, find the others. I think the, the original saying was uh, uh, from uh, Timothy Leary and then Terrence McKenna sort of, you know, re-uttered it in a way. But it's true. Like, we're, I mean, we're finding each other. Pretty soon, we're, we're going to meet one another. Um, I got some ideas, you know. I got some ideas for uh, retreats and stuff like that. Uh, but they're still in the making. So we're already making a community here. You see, we're already just this community. And then there are so many communities popping on YouTube now. Same thing. Same thing. It's great. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time to embrace the internet and just get past the paranoia. Fuck your privacy. Who cares? You, I mean, look. Look, If I swear, if it was up to me, I would walk around naked, honestly. Like, man, I, just, I really just, I mean, I, you know, who cares? Privacy. Oof, right? I mean, who, who cares? It, privacy only comes from us being boxed in society anyway. You come spend some time in nature pretty soon and like, fuck privacy. The, the God is everywhere anyway. God is watching me at all times, which you're God basically, right? Right? So even that, get past the paranoia of all that. Oh my God, you know, you're going to see me naked. You're going to do this. Oh, you hear me. You, you, you know, I'm embarrassed, right? Get past all the paranoia. Get past all the paranoia. And then what's left is a cle clearly, this is a force that is now m working more for good than evil. More for good than evil now, for sure. It, it, day by day. Clear, clearly. Clearly. Okay, so I'm really happy about the internet. I'm uh, using it. I'm going to continue to use it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you to the Patreons who support this channel via the internet, via their donations. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much to the people who made the donations via PayPal, one-time donations. If you'd like to do anything like that, Patreon, we got the $2 a month uh, tier, you know, $2 a month. There's $35. We could speak via Skype if you, if you do that as well. Uh, one of you guys did that recently. And... Then there's PayPal. You could just do one-time donations. If you'd like to appreciate, show your appreciation monetarily, it would definitely help the cause of this channel and help the future plans that I have going on. Not plans. Well, they kind of are plans in a way, like initial plans, I suppose. Uh, and uh, yeah, what else? What else did I want to say? Yeah, Said Mobayed on Instagram. I love chatting with you guys. So hit me up there. And until next time, may the force be with you.